In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Garmin Glow GPS sensor to an Android-based device. We have a Motorola Zoom for this example. So the Glow is an awesome GPS sensor because it combines the American GPS system and the Russian GLONASS. That's where it gets its name, Glow. So combining those two systems gives you almost twice as many satellites you can track at any given time. So if you're in an urban canyon or a canyon in the wilderness, you're going to be able to see more satellites because they'll be more above you to track. Also, the accuracy of this device in normal to track areas works great. I've seen about 1.5 meter accuracy on average, which is way better than the average GPS that you use for driving because that's going to be closer to 15 meters. Handhelds with WASP can get you down to 3 meters and this sensor 1.5 meters is doing pretty good. So let's connect them. First we'll turn on the glow. And now we'll go into the settings of the Motorola Zoom. So we need to go into Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on, then select search devices. All right, here's the Garmin Glow. It looks like an audio profile, so we'll select it. And it will connect. Let's try that again. It just takes a few seconds. So now we need to start up a program that's going to use the Garmin Glow. The Garmin Glow will not override the internal GPS, so the GPS program that you use needs to be able to use a Bluetooth GPS. If you search Bluetooth GPS in the Play Store, lots of navigation options and GPS tools will appear. I don't have any specific recommendations. I recommend just playing around with the options and seeing which one works best for you. So let's go into that program. I've downloaded one called Bluetooth GPS just for testing. Here it is here. It only works in portrait mode, so we're just going to leave it like this. So now we could connect. The Garmin Glow is listed number one, so we'll just hit connect and just give it a few seconds and it should connect. Okay, so now the Bluetooth GPS is running. We could check out the different information coming from the device. Because I'm indoors, I'm not tracking very many satellites because I've got a tin roof above me which blocks most of the signals. But if you were to go into status, this is where you would see your satellites. And in EA log, if I go view log, it's going to start spewing out. The Garmin Glow outputs at 10 hertz, so that's 10 times per second. Most other Bluetooth GPS units will only do 1 hertz, which is alright because most software only uses 1 hertz. But if you have a more advanced software, the 10 hertz is excellent. And then you can even see on a map where you're at. Because I don't have a position right now, it's not going to show properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this glow close to a window and then we'll take a look at the status and see the satellites that pop up. Okay, so I put the GPS by a window, so it's starting to track a lot more satellites. It'll track a lot more than this. We just need to give it some time to start getting the signals. But now, if we go back to the main page on this software, it's going to give us our position data, plus our speed and some other information. So that was a quick introduction on connecting the Garmin Glow to an Android-based device. And today, we were using the Motorola Zoom.